Hello everyone, my name is Justin Swaddling and I'm back here at Dork's Music to share some more tips and playing ideas on the saxophone. Uh, this mini-series is going to be all about how to start improvising. Uh, it's difficult uh, to get going at the beginning, uh, to get past those barriers um, and feel comfortable with taking those first few steps into improvising and hopefully uh, some of the ideas in these videos are going to help you to do that. Remember that Docs Music has all sorts of instructional videos and gear reviews on their YouTube channel so please subscribe now. This first video is going to be all about limiting your note choice and we're going to get into that right now. Limiting your note choice, why is that really important? Well, when you start to improvise, it can be a scary and daunting experience. If you're having to suddenly come up with loads of different ideas on the spot, if you're dealing with a huge scale choice as well, uh, that's just too many things to think about. So we limit the amount of notes that we're gonna be working with. This is also really good for making your playing rhythmically interesting. So there are a couple of really, really good reasons to consciously think about limiting the amount of notes that you're using. And with this mini series, you would have received a backing track. I'm going to play a couple of choruses over that backing track now to just demonstrate using only three notes. I'm going to use A, C and D. Now I'm on an alto saxophone. If you're on tenor saxophone in B flat, you're going to need to use the notes D, F and G. Let's have a listen to that now. Hopefully uh, that will have given you a starting point to get improvising. Use the backing track, go around it lots and lots of different times using just those notes and see how you get on with that. I hope you found this video useful and next time we're going to be talking about the importance of leaving space. So I will hope you will join me again in the next video.